People say you don't get wiser as you get older. There's just less stupid stuff left that you haven't already done. You're only as old as you feel, huh? Well, when I probably died six years ago. Hi there, welcome to Top Movies. Today we're gonna pick top 10 movies about being old. For this list we will go through best comedies and dramas that focus on positive or negative aspects of old age. So get ready to see all the iconic elderly actors over and over again. Let's do this. Declaration of war. Give me back what is mine or face the consequences. Okay. Okay. Number 10. War with Grandpa. Released in 2020, this is a light-hearted family comedy with Robert De Niro as a lead actor. Story follows recently widowed Ed Marino who is forced to move in with his daughter's family. But things get messy when Ed takes his grandson's bedroom and the kid declares war to him in an attempt to get it back. As a result, we get a simple and demanding film with entertaining story that will get plenty of laughs. Gutsy move going without a bra. I took a dump on your porch. Hey, we are live, guys. We are live right now. Number 9. Grudge Match. This 2013 sports comedy follows two retired boxing rivals, portrayed by Sylvester Stallone and Robert De Niro, who decide to get back on a ring 30 years after their last match. Film has a strong supporting cast and good sense of humor, which does not break any barriers but will definitely entertain. It's a nice comedy with interesting characters, fairly decent story and hilarious chemistry between rivaling legends. Number 8. Las Vegas Plot of this film follows four friends who have to take a break from their day-to-day -day retirement routine to throw a bachelor party in Las Vegas for their last remaining single pal. Along the way they have to relive their glory days and rediscover their friendship. It's a hangover style comedy with nice sense of humor and an epic cast which includes Morgan Freeman, Michael Douglas, Kevin Klein and Robert De Niro. Yep, we're having a lot of De Niro's today. A little bit. A little bit. This is the one to really think about, okay? Where do you see yourself in 10 years? When I'm 80. Number 7. The Intern This 2015 body comedy follows 7 years old widower named Ben, who takes the opportunity to become a senior intern at an online fashion website. Bringing in his experience and charm, soon Ben becomes popular with his younger co-workers and forms an unlikely friendship with the company's workaholic CEO. It's a heartwarming film with simple but smart premise, talented lead actors and an entertaining chemistry between main characters. Number 6. The Bucket List Another body comedy drama starring Jack Nicholson and Morgan Freeman that follows two terminally ill strangers who escape from hospital and head off on a road trip with wish list of things to do before they die. Though main premise is pretty simple, it still managed to entertain thanks to amazing performances of lead actors. The Bucket List is an emotional film about facing our own mortality. I'm thinking of robbing a bank. Oh. I'm thinking about buying a Ferrari. Hmm. I just got drafted by the Knicks. Number 5. Going in Style. Starring Morgan Freeman, Michael Caine and Alan Arkin, this 2017 haste comedy follows three lifelong buddies who decide to risk it all and rob the very bank that cancelled their pensions. As the crazy idea turns into unbelievable adventure, film displays the hopelessness of three friends in their attempt to leave something for their families after they're gone. Though main heroes are breaking the law, they are not criminals. They're just trying to screw the system just the way it did to them. It's a beautiful film with charismatic actors, relatable characters and compelling story. This is not an admission of guilt! I am just tired! Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. Number 4. Rocky Balboa Written, directed and starring Sylvester Stallone, this 2006 sports drama is the sixth installment in Rocky film series. Story follows long-retired Rocky, who runs a Philadelphia eatery and mourns the loss of his beloved wife. Trying to recapture a bit of his glory days, Rocky decides to re-enter the ring for a few matches, but everything changed when he accepts a challenge to fight the world's heavyweight champion. This is an inspiring film that restores the dignity of Stallone's greatest character. Hi Frank. 
You have got to be kidding me. That thing is gonna murder me in my sleep. Somebody's gonna murder you in your sleep. Number 3. Robot and Frank Set in near future, this 2012 sci-fi drama focuses on Frank, an aging dual thief who receives a robot caretaker from his son. Resistant at first, Frank warms up to the robot when he realizes that he can use it to restart his career as burglar. It's a heartwarming movie with brilliant performance that has a smart narrative and gives a genuine take on impact of modern technology and friendship. Ever notice how you come across somebody once in a while you, you shouldn't have messed with? That's me. Are you crazy, man? Get out of here, man. Number 2. Gran Torino. This is a 2008 drama directed and produced by Clint Eastwood who also starred in a film. Plot follows grumpy old Korean war vet with bad temper who despises many Asian, Latino and black families in his neighborhood. But Walt becomes a local hero when he stands up to the gangbangers who try to force an Asian teen to steal his car. After this event, Walt decides to mentor the kid and change his life. This is a touching drama with intriguing story and legendary performance of iconic actor. Before we get to our number one film, let's take a look at some honorable mentions. Did you take a piss today? Four drops. You? Same. More or less. More or less? Less. Doug! I was hiding under your porch because I love you. Can I stay? Can you stay? Well, you're my dog, aren't you? And I'm your master. You are my master? <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Good boy, Doug. I don't know what you are. You're like the Israeli Iron Dome defense system, but with vaginas instead of missiles. What? You're like some sort of cock-blocking Terminator sent back from the future to cock-block humans. Oh, the robot should have sent you instead of Arnold Schwarzenegger. You could have cock-blocked John Connor's parents and he never would have been born. Where are we going? Just keep going straight. You getting tired? Yeah. You shouldn't drink so much. You are the only person who could still recognize the man who murdered our families. It's my union. Is that hard to understand? Really? No, no. It's, it's your union, that's right. It'll yeah. always be your union. You could step down and still run. No, you don't and step down. No. What do you mean? Russ, you don't step down and run a union. You step down and go to your grave. What a disappointment you are. When I found you, you were pursuing a career as a cage fighter, a warm capper to a life as an assassin, hooked on barbiturates. I'm an old, broken-down piece of meat, and I'm alone. And I deserve to be all alone. I just don't want you to hate me. Number 1. The Wrestler Released in 2008, this sports drama stars Mickey Rourke as an aging professional wrestler Randy Robinson who has to retire because of his health issues. But as he tries to reconnect with his daughter and pursue a serious relationship, Randy starts to realize that life outside the ring might be even harder. This is a powerful movie with incredible performance, genuinely interesting character and beautiful story that will break you into manly tears. The Wrestler is one of the best character-based sports dramas that ponders on the concept of broken man. Thanks for watching this video. Let me know which film is your favorite or which one did I miss. Also hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos. See you next time. Bye.